What's up guys, Jay Cohen from Fitness Culture. Today we're gonna to be doing a lower body high volume day with some functional conditioning from the Summer Sizzle program. I got Brody with me today. Apparently he's got a really important phone call. And Sonny's gonna be with us today too. Just trying, getting that bang, getting banged up right now. That, that sounded bad. Anyway, she's getting some caffeine. All right, let's get going. All right guys, so the first thing we got today is gonna be some sumo deadlift. So we got three sets of 15. It's pretty light today because we did so much volume earlier in the week. Um, we're just gonna keep it light. The goal today is to get our heart rate up, keep moving, um, and then the next few weeks, we're gonna progress a little bit and go heavier. So that third week is gonna be really challenging, but today it's not gonna be super challenging. It's gonna be 15 reps, three sets. We're gonna go 35, 40, and 45%. So today, I'm starting to sit 245 and then I'm gonna build from there. So we're gonna keep the rest period short in between and just roll through them. All right guys, we just finished up our sumo deadlift. Got through them real quick. Heart rate's up, starting to sweat. Now we got, we got a, Single leg dumbbell RDLs, we did them in the warm up, but now we're gonna go heavier. And then we're gonna superset that with just a seated calf raise. So we're just gonna go back to back, short rest and back up. The next thing we got is a superset of hack squat and just lying, too tired, I can't think. Hack squat, lying hamstring curl. So we're gonna go 15 reps on each, just back to back, short rest, and just roll through that three times. So on the hack squat today, really, I'm gonna go a little bit closer stance, um, just to try to target my quads more, but I'm gonna let my feet get further away so I don't go into such a deep knee bend. If you want the best quad development, I would try to get your feet as close under your body as you can so your knee travels over your toe, but make sure your heel stays in contact the entire time. So the reason that I'm not doing it that way is because I basically have like no cartilage on the backside of my patella anymore, just from years of athletics. So if I go too deep on a deep knee bend that's weighted, I'm starting to get a little flare ups. So today, I guess what I'm saying is, if there's a video of me doing it, don't do it like me. Try to get deeper, try to get a deeper knee bend on this. If you want better quad development. Five D's of dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. We got, we got three rounds. We're gonna do 20 wall balls, 20 V-ups, 20 alternating lunges with the med ball. So we're just gonna hold it here and lunge in place. And then we got a 60 yard shuttle. So that's just gonna be five yards and back, 10 yards and back, 15 yards and back. So right when we finish that shuttle, we're back up to the wall balls. And we're gonna roll through that just three times as fast as we can get through it. So, so far the work workout's taken us less than 40 minutes from when we started the warm up to we finished our last set of the hamstring curls. So we blasted through that pretty quickly and we just took about a five minute break, let our legs cool down a little bit. And now we're gonna knock out this conditioning real quick. Alright guys, I 
hope you enjoyed the workout for today and maybe you can test it out and use it in your training. If you like this content, please give me a comment below and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.